Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending on where you're at. It is the Earth Master here on this 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to uh, those out here. It is uh, about 2.19 here in the Texas area in the afternoon. Uh, the latest activity shows some movement up into Alaska. We did have some further movement here uh, a couple hours ago into the Petrolia area of Northern California. This is the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, it's been somewhat active here over the past week. Let's bring up last seven days, 2.5 and above. Uh, you can see uh, a handful of quakes, uh, including a uh, 3.9, 4.0 from yesterday and a couple other twos and some smaller quakes as well. Uh, so things kind of uh, kicking up here and that's due to the increasing uh, trimmer activity there. Let me bring up the uh, Pacific Northwest trimmer map here. And uh, this is from yesterday. Notice down here in Northern California, this is trimmer activity occurring down in the deeper areas of the Cascadia subduction zone, probably about uh, around 45 kilometers deep. Uh, we get these slow slip events that uh, uh, trigger some earthquakes, obviously upstream from the pressure that's building. Uh, the subduction zone here, of course, the Juan de Fuca plate uh, as a whole is being subducted underneath the North American plate here to the east, uh, and that is creating some strain uh, down here on the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. That trimmer activity uh, elevating some movement down here. So, kind of watching that. Uh, nothing big popping off yet, uh, but as always, uh, you know, it's 323 years. Uh, that it's been since the last 9.0 earthquake in the Cascadia subduction zone. So no doubt it is building for the next one. Up here around Mount St. Helens, a couple smaller earthquakes as well this morning it looks like. That's uh, right smack dab at the crater area, the summit region. Let's go ahead and check out Mount St. Helens here on the volcanic seismicity map and see what's going on up there. There's some of that earthquake activity being reported there by the PNSN network. And, of course, this information is all available to the public. PNSN.org slash volcanoes slash Mount St. Helens. Uh, and this shows the earthquake activity on the map. If you want to see specifically the Webby Quarter, uh, the recorded seismograph station here, just click on one of those triangles there and uh, kind of give you a, a good indicator of what's going on here. going to take a peek and see what's going on. There's some of that earthquake activity right here. Uh, but for the most part, it looks fairly quiet. Uh, what was the largest one? I believe it's a 1.3 early this morning. That was followed up uh, by a 0.5. So that's going to be the 1.3. Uh, and this here is going to be the uh, 0.5. A couple other smaller quakes out there, but it doesn't look like anything uh, stirring up too much. It's some smaller earthquake activity. And yesterday actually looks uh, about the same as well. As far as some small microquake activity out here at Mount St. Helens. Nothing big going on though for now. Just a matter of time before we get some uh, volcanoes out here along the uh, the western portion of the states active again. It's, it's you know, they, they do stir up. We've just been pretty lucky, pretty quiet. All right, far as Southern California goes, uh, a little bit of movement across the Riverside area and some slight activity down here along the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Not a whole lot going on there today, just some very small earthquake activity. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, let's go ahead and check out Yellowstone here real quick. See what's going on here. Doesn't look like too much activity yet. No noticeable activity on the seismograph stations here. Doesn't look like any thunderstorm activity uh, either is coming up on the seismograph. So uh, otherwise, it would look something similar to this, uh, like what we had seen last night and, and late afternoon time period. But for now, things are pretty quiet up there, Yellowstone. Outside uh, the Pecos, Texas area, out here in the oil fields, things are continuing to pop off there. With a couple of smaller quakes in the last 24 hours, of course. Got to look really closely out there, folks, but once you do, you'll know what's out here. Uh, wastewater injection disposal wells. Uh, many, many thousands of pumping operations out here. And I tell you what, here, be, being almost a week here in Texas now, I've seen so many of them. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, big time oil out here. All right, uh, not a whole lot going on through the rest of the country. Puerto Rico area, 
does have uh, a little bit of movement from yesterday, it looks like, and some from today, mostly twos, uh, confined to the southwestern edge there of Puerto Rico, South America, not a whole lot going on. A couple smaller quakes, uh, let's see what we got for the uh, New Zealand area, let me pull up the GeoNet servers here real quick, I know they had a two-pointer just a little bit ago, 2.4. Uh, near the Masterton area, it looks like, 18 kilometers deep. Quick glance here at the Earthquake 3D drums. Uh, shows, uh, well, some of the activity over the last 24 hours. Uh, this earthquake right here looks as though... Let's see here. That looks like it's... Goodness. More situated up on the uh, Kermadec Trench, I believe. Let me see here. Talking about this signature right here. Kind of showed up pretty nicely. Uh, that definitely could be that 5.2 that kicked off here just uh, a few hours ago. It kind of matches up here with that signature. Uh, but if, aside from that, most of the earthquake activity there, uh, very minimal. For now big island of hawaii not a whole lot going on across the area kilauea volcano taking a current currently taking a break getting some movement out here across the japan region and also some deeper activity look at this 4.6 444 kilometers deep into the izu trench here uh, if you look on this map there's a line here of deep earthquake activity uh, kind of surrounding the japan trench area so watch this region uh, for some subsequent larger, shallower uh, earthquake activity. That's a, a lot of deep movement there on the map. Uh, some activity around Myanmar and a little bit of uh, activity across Turkey region. Uh, let's bring up the world map here from the EMSC model. Still kind of getting used to this. Haven't added it on the globe yet, but I will once I get things taken care of. Um, this shows the last two weeks of earthquake activity. Um, no, I, I take that. Well, it says last 24. I'm not for sure what's going on here with this. Should be able to click on that, right? Doesn't look like it wants to work, but either way, it shows the last two weeks of earthquake activity here uh, across the region. And uh, we'll try to get that up on the Earthquake 3D globe. Not this, but uh, the data itself from the RSS feeds so that uh, we can monitor that on the Earthquake 3D globe as well. But uh, there's the current earthquake activity and the magnitudes and whatnot. I still think it's a little cluttered, um, but for whatever reason here, it's not letting me click individually uh, the, the time frame I want. All right, solarham.net, uh, see what we got going on here for solar flare activities. Flaring again currently. That's going to be 3354, way out on the eastern limb of the sun that is currently flaring right there. And uh, it's just about out of sight, out of mind. I don't believe uh, um, anything will be geo-effective aside from the uh, stuff going on in the magnetosphere with the uh, uh, flaring currently taking place. That's almost instantly uh, affected here on Earth. Not a big uh, region here. Well... Not a big event, I should say, on the D-layer absorption map. Uh, probably just a little bit of radio blackout here from, uh, looks like around the North America area. And that's from the flare currently taking place. It looks like it's just a C flare, but that thing is very capable of producing a, another X flare, just looking at it. Keep an eye on it. Uh, and that's going to be 3354, which is now way over here. Barely see it. Uh, this regional sunspot is growing. In fact, it's grown a little bit more since my uh, morning update. That is uh, almost directly facing Earth. We'll continue to watch that uh, as that uh, rotates a little bit further into view. 99% chance for a C flare, M flare at 50, X flare around 20% chance. Uh, so we we'll continue to watch that. Uh, Storm Prediction Center out here today in Texas. A little bit of thunderstorm popping up here um, outside of the Cleburne area right now and that looks like that uh, potential could be somewhat more elevated throughout the late afternoon early evening time period with a marginal risk of severe weather that's mostly going to be uh, wind events
But uh, aside from that, not a whole lot going on in Texas today. Most of the activity is confined up north uh, with uh, Kansas in the heart of it all. Watch out for some wind and hail out there uh, if you're shooting off some fireworks. Thunderstorm forecast here for today showing a broad area across these regions as mentioned and a little bit out here in Texas as well. So, All right, folks, have a good night. Have a good evening. Uh, if anything else um, takes place here, we'll jump on and provide an update. Uh, if not, then we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later. Happy 4th. Stay safe out there and um, enjoy. Have a good one.